Okay, so uh, over to you, um, Jihan. Thank you very much again for joining us. Hello. Let me <laughs> know. If, I hope the sound is okay. Uh, and it's I apologize perfect. in advance for it. Okay, great, perfect. I'll start. Yeah. Okay. Great. great. So yeah. thank you for yeah. thank you for hosting me. Uh, my name is Jihan. I'm Corporate mm -hmm. Communications Director, and I'm also a mom of two girls, 13 and 7 years old. Um, I started my career around 14 years ago, exactly when I got pregnant. And I remember the day I had my first meeting with my line manager, who was the HRD, um, to mm -hmm. talk about my annual targets. And uh, it was funny because this is where I had to announce that I was two months pregnant. So it was mm -hmm. a quite interesting situation to start a career with. And 14 mm. years later, here we are. I have quite progressed through my career. And um, right. I actually wanted to share three things um, uh, from my experience. First one right. is that looking backwards, I think that career progress depends on so many different factors on which we have no control. So your industry and how it's growing, your line manager, the unexpected job opportunities that will come your way. Um, Let's be honest, like how many of us have been able to stick to the, this famous career plan that you discuss with your line manager mm -hmm. and then submit before the deadline? And I even remember an initiative from our HR we, where we have received coffee mugs with our professional ambition, like here is mine. Oh, and brilliant. it says uh, <laughs> Senior Vice President Communication. It was from 10 years ago. And the only thing, Ooh. to be honest, it reminds me when I look at it is how my skin is aging. But <laughs> so it's because the truth is that the truth is that it's it's very difficult to stick stick to this career path that we set to ourselves and it's often leads mm. to disappointment. But yeah. um, what I truly yeah. believe in, uh, what I truly believe in, is that beyond career growth, there is personal growth, and mm. um, by personal growth, I mean growing as a person, not only mm. in the, in your knowledge and expertise and experience, which are definitely important but most importantly growing in your values in your relationship with others and how to increase your positive impact mm. and i believe that when we tend to focus too much on career growth this is actually where it doesn't happen and it could be really disappointing so when mm. we are absorbed by understanding ourselves being a better person every day helping others um and, and acting through the lens of our values, this is where the transformation mm -hmm. happens. And mm -hmm. at that moment, career progress might come or not, or it can mean something completely different. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's a winning situation. And investing mm -hmm. in ourselves will never come with any disappointment because you will grow no matter what happens. Yes. And I've been, I have been through this. At some point in my careers, I have been in extremely competitive work environments. And... Um, you know, it was done in purpose to, you know, put us one against the other, this culture of winners mm -hmm. against losers. Mm -hmm. And and I remember once, you know, I, I, actually in, in some points of my careers, I was quite manipulative trying to get what I wanted, the job position I wanted. But to be honest, like years after that, wh wh what remains of this? Nothing but mm -hmm. a bitter sweet of, be, sorry, a bitter taste of having compromise on my values. Mm -hmm. sometimes by mm -hmm. being manipulative so what i'm trying to say here is that career growth without personal growth is a recipe for disaster and we mm -hmm. all have examples around us of senior leaders with and even head of state etc with almost no values mm -hmm. and the, it's it leads us to where we are we are going through exceptional times with an exceptional leaders and as female leaders, I believe that we have the responsibility to set the tone right from the beginning. So we have to do things differently. We have to lead with values and we have to do it right because it's our opportunity, our opportunity as future of female leaders uh, to, to be exceptional. So mm. this is, um, this is uh, the, right. the, my, my first point. Yes. So I, I also wanted to talk about mentorship very quickly, but this is nothing to that you 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 we don't know already. Mentorship is very mm. important. I always had very like good mentors all throughout my career. But I want yeah. to highlight that mentors come in all shapes and sizes. It doesn't have to be the senior leader or the expert in your industry. 
in my case, one of the best mentors I had was the personal assistant of the PA, actually, of our CEO. And right. I have learned from her things you would never learn in the best of business schools, internal politics, how to get things done internally, internal stakeholders, management, etc. And she was brilliant because she was never using this for her personal benefits. She was mm -hmm. brilliant in internal politics, but always to advocate for better working conditions in the factory, um, getting some temporary workers becoming permanent, you know, these types of, uh, of things. So what I'm saying mm -hmm. here is that mentorship is important. Mentors come in all shapes and sizes. So yeah. we have to try to have as much diversity in, in, in our mentors as we can. And, to, and this led me to my, my last point actually, which is about corporate politics for, as a force for good. Again, as I said, as my PA, my personal assistant mentor, um, from her, I learned a lot of things about how to use corporate politics as a first force for good. And again, as female leaders, I believe we have the responsibility to make it right. We all know how corporate politics are important and effective. So if we are good at it, let's not be individualistic about it. Let's lobby for the common good. Our leaders mm -hmm. want us to bring our whole self to work. Let's bring it. Let's speak for those who can't. If you witness an unfair situation, speak up. Use your network of colleagues to, I don't know, talk about issues that impact you as employees. It can be climate change. It can be breastfeeding in the office. It can be flexible working. It can be longer maternity leave, paternity leave, human rights, whatever. Employee activism is on the rise. Let's spread it and let's just be brave about it.